After that Buffalo game, Believe was written on the board, and for me it was the turning point when everybody came together and everybody knew what had to be done in order to get where we've never been. Do the little things to make us better and be able to be on the right side of things, which is kind of where we ended up the last two weeks with the Ball State and Eastern game, which was huge for us. He throws the bomb and McCoy's got a shot at it. He makes the catch and we're an extra point from a tie. Bakes now steps, he throws, looking for Isaiah McCoy. Juggles it in the corner, did he hang on? Yes, sir! Touchdown, his third of the game. A hat trick for McCoy and the flashes are back in front. Cardinals almost jumped as Trickett has given Kent State a fourth quarter lead with 19 seconds to go. It's to Hall, Hall whips it back behind him, Gamble balls put on the turf and it's over. The flashes stay alive in their drive for a postseason invite. To defend Dix, to get another win, put the seniors out the right way, most importantly, yep. we still lock. Yeah! The five to the corner, he stood up, he backs up, spins into the end zone and scores. Literally, like everything was happening how we needed it to happen, when we needed it to happen, and like it was set up perfect for us to do it. And all we had to do was execute. We're coming out in the third quarter and we're gonna run this back. I feel like that game was the biggest game of my college career because I felt like it was do or die at that moment. Like you either get in the bowl game or you go home. And I feel like these seniors deserve the bowl game. So I was gonna do everything in my power to get them out of there. We deserve the right to play. A couple of the teams that were bowl eligible, we beat. We had a practice, then we didn't practice, and <laughs> you know, we sitting there like trying to find out, but I'm like, we're going to a bowl game. Anytime my teammates say something different, I'm like, we're going to a bowl game. And they win three straight games in the month of November, and Kent State is bowl eligible. too worried about getting in one. I had a pretty good feeling about it, that we were going to get into one. I mean, I think, I think those last week, I probably checked my phone about 15 times a day how the records were stacking up, the amount of bull eligible teams, who needed to win, who needed to lose, and everything. You got family members sending you, oh, y'all might go to this one, y'all might go to this yeah. one. There wasn't really any doubt that we were going to get one for me. It was a little bit of doubt, but we knew we had the momentum on the three game winning streak that we should get the bull game. You get a reward for doing things the right way. Okay, you get a reward for doing things the right way. Bowl game, great trip, great opportunity. We've been invited to go to Texas and play on December 20th right against Utah State down in Frisco. Getting ready to work. It was a different type of setting to be in with your teammates, to be able to share a moment like that. Dom Hill from Texas, like 20 minutes away, so he was always telling us different things about Texas, living there, where to go, where not to go, good places to eat. Practicing at the Cowboys facility, it was nice having smoothies everywhere you go, being with your team for a whole week in the hotel, out at night, it was, it was fun. Uh, just. Being able to practice in the star was awesome and cool. And then the practice fields they had us on and stuff. Like I was blessed to be down there for that. And we had events, top golf, competing against Utah State while we were there, winning those. It was good the whole weekend. It's been a great week of events. Looking forward to competing tomorrow night. Uh, it'll be an honor to share the field with Utah State, the players, and the coaching staff. Uh, it's going to be a fun game. Whatever we gotta give, give it. The only handful of times really in your life you get to play for a championship. Snap 
low, Crump digs it out, stops, pops, he's got a man, McCoy will make the basket, catch near side, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! This is going to be that type of game. You know, we're playing against a good quarterback, uh, we're playing against a different conference, so, you know, it's something that we're not used to. Slicing his way to the goal line, spinning into the end zone, Williams scores! Left, fading back, here comes pressure, here's the throw, Warren wide open, he is going to make the catch, he's hit, puts the we had stops, they had stops, they had touchdowns, we had touchdowns. It was a shootout, that's what, that's what shootout saw. Right Stiff arm, he's in! Fair catch is called for, it hits him! It's Kent State ball inside the 10. The signs creeping up, the give to Warren. Penetration by Faulkner, into the backfield. Pressure, they blitz, and Lob is down! Trump fakes to him, will roll, shovels it off, caught by Dixon, flashes touchdown, loads up. Fires, end zone wide open, touchdown! It's short and it's coming up, Parker to grab it, and then he rushes back across to the Utah State side of the field. Far side 20, 15, and down he goes! That backfire. Drum's got Matthews to his left, he turns, he fakes, he keeps it himself, cuts to the left, Dustin Crump scores! And they are going crazy in Frisco. Fourth down and 18 for Love and the Aggies. He steps back, he throws in the middle. Pass is caught, Cepeda Phillips brings him down immediately, and the Aggies will turn it over on downs. It is going to happen. That was my last play as a college football player, to be able to be in victory formation, winning a bowl game, and solidifying and the season. And now the final countdown is on. They will not need to snap it again. After 100 years of Kent State football, Team 97 is finally the one. Kent State, get ready to celebrate. Be able to feel that just feeling of accomplishment and just feeling everything just pay off and knowing that, that we really, like, we did it. My coach told me when we were leaving, you know, taking pictures, all of that excited. He told me when I was walking into the locker room to turn around and look at the scoreboard and just capture that picture in my mind, and I will never forget that. Like, that was crazy. Like, I'm kind of, I'm glad he told me, but, like, it, it that was, like, an emotional moment because I look back and it's like, I could see my whole football career from when I was a kid to now in that one moment. And it was, it was different. Yeah, that's it, we did it. We're here now, we're here.